So this is the latest video that we've uploaded uh, honoring the British Council Close Groupers. That was January of 2022. These are my batchmates. Like we drill together every single day. No rest, man. Damn. It's always a good time. And then, so this is the IELTS Einstein page. So wait, guys, I'm going to go into the playlist. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh. So click on the playlist, guys, and then you will see there the Cambridge series there. So this series was created when we were drilling. Yeah, this, like we did Cambridge 7, and then we did Cambridge 9. And then we did Cambridge 15. There. They were so hard working. There. That's why their scores are so high. Okay. And then uh, this one came after, after the post group Cambridge 3. And now we are at Cambridge 4. Uh, we will do writing Cambridge 4 writing number 3. Is that Cambridge number 3? Oh, I closed it already, guys. But the um, here, that's the that's from Cambridge three. Cambridge three test three. So we will do this today. But before that, maybe what you should do is to, you should watch all the writing videos here because these are the ones that we did before we took the exam. Here, so Cambridge seven test three writing test. Uh, but these are in your emails. Cambridge 9 test, one writing test. And then Cambridge 15 test to write. Oh, no, 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 that's speaking. And there, Cambridge. Oh, there, 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 there. Cambridge 15 test to writing task one. You might want to check this out, right? Okay, that's task one. And Cambridge 3, test 2, writing test. And then Cambridge 3, test 2, writing test. Huh? There are two of them. Yeah. But uh, they are different videos. They are different videos. And then, oh, we don't have a writing test yet for Cambridge 4. And then I'm going back to the playlist. So, of course, this is the playlist that we used for your writing program, your 20 essays there. So task one begins at video eight, video nine, jump to 15, 16, 17. Mm. Oh, video 19, guys, apparently is in a private, video 19 is in the private group. I mean, private uh, link. Video 19, 20, 21. That's in the private link. See, so if you'll notice, there are gaps. So the gaps are in the private videos. There, but uh, these are demonstrations already. Live demo on maps, live demo on line graphs, live demo on bar graphs, live demo on pie charts, live demo on multiple graphs. Okay, this is GT letter writing and then process tasks. And then, okay, these are live writing exercises. That's no longer related to task one. Okay, so, so generally what we are gonna be doing today is for this one, the Cambridge series, uh, view the full playlist there. So we will, uh, this is going to be Cambridge for test three. Cambridge for test three, writing task one. And that is the task. There, you see that? This is there for a sample of a multiple graph. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh, it's always a good time. Okay. <clears throat> so, actually, this task is in one of the 20 essays, guys. I don't remember if this is like in essay number 18, somewhere there, 17, 18, 19. There. So it looks easy, but uh, as we all know, there, there's nothing really easy in the aisles. You gotta always look deeper. 
So the graph below shows the demand for electricity in England during typical days in winter and summer. Okay, typical days. Okay, I wonder if we can draw over the document. Let's see if we can do that with Word. So what does that mean, guys? Typical days. What, what tense is that? Oh, there's a drawing feature there. Let's use the red one. Typical. That's a drop down arrow. So thickness there. Mm, there. Okay. Red. There. Okay. But it doesn't work. There. Typical. What does that mean, guys? Typical days. Any ideas? In winter and summer? Typical. Any ideas? Doesn't matter when, it's always a good time. Any ideas? What tense? Continuous, tense? perfect tense. Mm, <laughs> yeah, good guesses. Regular yeah. days, sir. Yeah, regular days. Normal days. Typical. Normal days. Yeah, what tense is that? You oh, should good. You unreal. Mm, no, those are the models, no? But no, these are not the models. That's continuous, sir, or progressive? Mm, I think progressive, yeah. Progressive can work, like uh, the demand ri is rising. And then, no, I think you can't use the progressive for this case. Present continuous. Uh, present, yeah, but not the continuous, guys. I think simple present, just a simple present, I think, yeah. Like you can see it here, right? Shows, shows, mm, right? The pie chart shows how electricity is used in an English home. So I think simple present is the only tense for this. Do you follow? And then there's no time frame. Like it doesn't show like what year this is in. So this is not like, was that Joanna I heard? Joanna, is that you? Good evening, sir. Okay, Joanna. Okay. All right. So that's the first thing, guys. We got to find out the tensing. In fact, what you will learn is that there are four key attributes that you should learn. C-O-M-T. And you will see that in the previous lectures. We jokingly call this as the cunt. The cunt. <laughs> cunt. No, that should be con cont, continued. <laughs> but we love calling it the cunt. So you got to determine the cunt. So the T there stands for the tense. Here. So yeah, super present. Like typical demand for electricity begins at, begins. Do you follow? Begins at around 32,000 units. Then rises, right? Mm, I don't think it's nice to use the continuous. It's rising and then it's falling. I don't think that would work, guys. I think the continuous is something you would use more for uh, storytelling, for example. Yeah. Like, do you know what happened yesterday? You know, something like that. I was walking. Do you follow? I was walking and then... Uh, uh, I tripped and then I spilled my coffee and uh, you know, stuff like that. Present. So we got that right. Tense. The T stands for the tense. Okay. It's always a good time. Tense here. Okay. And you will see this lecture in video 19, guys. The N stands for the nominal. Nominals are nouns. Okay, so be aware that there is always a nominal trap. Okay, so all the all the numerical figures, all the numbers, those are nominals. So what are these nominals? 40,000, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000. So there it shows there the units of electricity. Okay, so no problem there. And these ones indicate hours. So zero hours. What time is that, guys? Zero hours. 
What time is that? What is zero hours, three hours, six hours, nine hours, 12 hours? What's zero hours? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. What's zero hours? 12 a.m. So 12 in midnight. the morning. Midnight. 12 a.m. Yeah. Uh, 12 midnight. 12 midnight. Yeah. No, zero hours is the beginning of time. And the, the, Isn't it like uh, one minute? Like 12? Yeah. No, this is, the moment of, this is the moment of the Big Bang. Joke. <laughs> 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 Kidding. <laughs> So this is 12 midnight, three out, three in the morning, six in the morning, nine in the morning, 12, 15, 18. 15 is like three o'clock, 18. Uh, John Mark, do you use military time in Saudi? Do you, do you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Really? Okay. We're using in our work, sir. I see. So I'll see you at 1500. That's how they say it. 1500. Yes, sir. 1800. 1500. Okay. I see. Okay, 2100 and 2400. Okay, so these are, this is a full day there. So no problem with those nominals. Then what the electricity is used for. So these are percentages. So the percentage of the total usage, right? This is in England. Ooh, look at that heating rooms and heating water, 52.5%. Guys, okay. Uh, every home in England has hot water in the tap. And every home has heating, very basic there. There is a radiator, okay. But of course in Saudi, that's gonna be the reverse. Every home has an air conditioner. <laughs> okay, like in the Philippines. Then, so no problems with these guys. 17.5% goes to their mm, ovens, kettles, and washing machines. Yeah. So these are heating related as well. And then 15%, very close these two. Oh, these two are the close one. Lighting, TV, and radio. And then vacuum cleaners, food mixers, and electric tools. So all of these are like uh, and uh, I mean, uh, motors, right? Motors, yeah. Okay. So no problem with the nominals. And then O stands for the overview. Okay. What do you think is the overview? I think the overview is very visible, right, guys? I can see it very well. I mean, look at that line. It's way up there. That line is way down there. Oh my God, how do I erase? <laughs> see, so the overview is very straightforward. As we can see, so you should have an overview for this one and an overview for that one. And then uh, maybe the best thing for you to do is to have an overview for both there. So what's the overview here? What's this line in the top? Where is the, where's, Something is missing, guys. It has to be like a, it has to be like a, a legend or a description. Maybe I missed it when I snipped it. So this one is supposed to be for winter months. Yeah, winter months. These these ones are for summer months. So what's the overview for that one? Overall, it is clear from the line graph that. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, guys, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Time is running. Ooh. What does it show? Joanna. It's always a good time. Uh, the demand for winter is higher than the usage. <laughs> during mm -hmm. summer yeah the demand for electricity is higher in the winter than in summer yes sir and what about and, this one and then uh Remember it's an overview so heating, overview detail. heating rooms and heating water con uh, is the uh, greatest contributing factor for mm -hmm. the demand or for the usage of electricity 
Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so wait, let's turn this off. How do we turn that off? Mm -hmm. How do we turn this off, Chris? <laughs> how do it? There. <laughs> there. Oh my God, it turned to white. Oh my God, how do we turn this off? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh no, I can't type. <laughs> oh no. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Does anybody know how to work this thing? Uh, <laughs> uh, how do we turn that off? Come on, word. What? Oh my God. So you just click the home. Again. Click the home. Okay. There. Why doesn't the cursor appear? Okay, I'm supposed to write something. See, it hung. It hung. See, it's still working. Oh, look at that, guys. It's still on. <laughs> Time is running. <laughs> Let's open a new word, doc I, doctor. <laughs> Sir. Okay, let's just open a new one. <laughs> then let's just copy paste it. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter when, it's always a good time. Doesn't matter when. Hmm. Let's just open a new one. Okay. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. There. Okay, let's open a new one. Okay, so where is it? Where's the new one? It's always a good time. There. Okay. So the the, the graphs. Wait, let's use Verdana. I like Verdana. Okay. The graphs show. I mean, you can just uh, improve on the language later, guys, once you're done. Depict. Depict. Um, elucidate. Reveal. Okay. Don't forget typical. Ordinary. An ordinary day. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. There. We're done. Nah. There. Okay. So the graphs. Uh, reveal. Mm, data on electricity electricity usage in England uh, uh, in a typical day uh, covering um, both uh, summer and winter seasons. So overall, this is the one. It is apparent that mm, electrical consumption is highest in winter with much of the electricity used for heating or for boiling water accordingly there. That's it, that's your overview, easy peasy. We got the overview done. Yeah, I wonder what they used to boil water. I wonder if it's like LPG that they use. That's why they have basements. That's where the, that's where the boiling system is. And then I think it's the same, uh, the same water that they use for their radiator. So the water just circulating all around the house, something like that. I'm not really sure, guys. But maybe that's the thing. Okay. And then we are now moving here. The final C, I, the final acronym is the cluster here. So. Uh, this one is critical because there's too much information, right, to mention, and then we don't want to spend too much time. So we will choose 
particular clusters. Like I'll give you an example. So for line graphs like this, I will begin there. It, for line graphs, it, it always begins at point zero. And then I will uh, mention this one, right? Correct. There's a slight increase in electrical consumption at around three o'clock in the morning. And then I will jump here, guys. This is what you call a, so I will just mention this in passing. Do you follow? Because it's so hard if you mention that and that and then that and then that and then that, right? So I'll just mention this, what do you call this plateau? And then of course the highest point here. That's my cluster for that, guys. That's how we cluster it. For evening, uh, what you can do here, guys, is of course you'll mention the starting point, and then you will just mention that the uh, electrical consumption vacillates in a narrow range, peaking at uh, twenty-five thousand units at in the early afternoon, and then uh, uh, fluctuates there. Maybe you just cover all of that. That's what you call a cluster. There, so that's how we'll do it, guys. So, um, remember this is computer delivered, so you can just type uh, and then you can just edit accordingly. For winter, electrical usage begins at around what's the figure? 34,000 units then rises to around 40,000 by three o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, 32,000 units here. That's a cluster. The cluster is critical guys because the cluster is gonna determine the time. So try to come up with a big cluster or a more summative cluster. Don't be too detailed. Mm, at midnight there and then rising slightly to 40,000 units by 3 a.m. Then before stabilizing, I'm already in that plateau there at around this range, CCC at around this range for the next what? Mm, what's that, six hours, something. Okay, for the next like 12 to, what's that, 12 in the afternoon? 12 to what, nine o'clock in the evening. For, uh, for the next nine hours, from 12 noon, to nine in the evening. Then peaking at, what's that? 45,000. Around 45,000. Mm, sometime after, before experiencing a successive decline. There, that's a cluster. Do you understand? So that complex sentence, guys, I'll show you how, how I make complex sentences like this. That complex sentence describes the entire graph here. Just one sentence for all of that. Then let's begin now with the uh, with, uh, summertime. Okay, for summertime, there, for summertime, so we have a wider cluster for this one, guys. And usage vacillates at a narrow range from, what's that? 18 to 20,000, right? All the way up to mid-afternoon. No, 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 no. That's like 15, 14. 
from 14,000 to 20,000 units. Mm, uh, all the way to mid afternoon. Come on, before what? Declining slightly to around 18,000 in the early evening. Declining slightly to around 18,000 in the early evening. That's it. Okay, we are now in the pie chart. So one sentence for the summertime cluster, one sentence for the wintertime cluster. There. Okay, guys. Finally, so how do we cluster this one? So this one is so easy to cluster, guys. So I will just mention these three. There. That's my cluster. And then that one, of course, is mentioned separately. See, easy peasy. Here. Okay. Let's try to avoid uh, having to shift. There. Okay. There. Okay. Let's minimize this thingy. Let's move that down here. Mm, let's make a smaller window. Okay, can you imagine old people not knowing how to use this here? Okay. On the other hand, the pie charts mm, elucidate the various uses of the said electrical consumption with over half of electricity used for heating purposes as well mm, both for ambient temperature and water supply you know, um, I, wait, in Saudi, it gets cold as well, right, John Mark? In the winter, right? You, do, you have radiators, right, John Mark? Sir? Correct. You have radiators for winter, right? You yes, do, sir, do. we have this. Uh, yeah, 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 we have, sir. The, mm -hmm. uh, for, if you will take a bath, sir, there is a heating machine. There's also a heat heater. During yes, winter sir. months, you use that during, during winter, months, sir. Right? Yes, it's gonna yes, get sir. really cold in winter. Here. Yes, mm. sir. So if I'm not mistaken, it's the same water system. So for the radiators, it is water that uh, goes around the system, and then for, of course, for shower, uh, shower systems, it's also water. And then that's it, uh, sir. I, sir. Yeah. I think pie chart lang, not charts. The pie chart, okay. The pie chart elucidates the values, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The rest of the consumption is evenly divided between mm, uh, kitchen. I'm trying to, um, uh, I can mention all of these guys between all the, good. I would like to come up with a better summary between uh, kitchen related tasks um, uh, lighting and appliance use And finally, for operating various motors, motor appliances, there, like vacuum clean cleaners. Yeah, they don't have a broom. <laughs> they have a vacuum cleaner, uh, food mixers, and electrical tools. 
here. Okay, that's why your electric fan, that's a major consumption of electricity. It's a motor. Okay, how many? There you go, 181 words. Okay, again, don't forget the cunt. See guys, easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Mm, did I miss out something, guys? And then, guys, I'll give you a tip. Huh? Don't spend too much time on task one. This is only like uh, a third of your total grade. Can you imagine that? So just make sure you finish this in 20 minutes and then don't try to beautify it. You know, that's what happened in my exam. I was trying to really uh, make a good task one. It took me 30 minutes. And then by the time I was in task two, I was rushing it already. So... I scored 7.5. You know how I uh, grade myself. And I think I scored a band 9 for the task 1. And then the task 2 ended up a 6.5. Because, uh, you know, I was really rushing through it. Uh, I think I didn't really get the right arguments. And then if you combine a 9 and a 6.5, that's a band 7.5. So... That's it, guys. So learn from my experience. Don't spend too much time on task one. I should have like given uh, extra thought for the task two. Can you imagine 30 minutes I was still in task one? Damn. Okay. So what we can do, guys, is uh, we can save this document or do you want to get these documents or um, let's just leave it there for the video. Okay, this is Cambridge. Cambridge uh, for test. No, 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 no. This is Cambridge. Yeah, for test three. Mm, writing task one. There. Okay, let's end the recording first, guys. Let's go into some questions. Okay, that's enough for a YouTube video. Hold on, guys. <laughs>